Hey, 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 it's me, Amber Fensel, and I'm coming to you with a crochet hack or a crochet tool hack or hook hack, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this is my first video that I'm going to be posting that's like a little longer than a short, but I wanted to show you a awesome idea that I heard somewhere, saw somewhere, came up with, whatever you want to do. I wish I could get credit to the person that came up with this, it, whoever did. But anywho, um, I've spent, you know, obviously there's a lot of money in hooks here. And these, for as expensive as these hooks are, you would think that you would get better packaging. Which, you know, that's fine. That's that's Maybe that's where they save the cost, who knows. So, I cut the bottom, or the opening of these off and I had them in a crochet like a box but I thought <coughs> you know I'd like to have something a little bit better to travel with and um I didn't want them falling out if I didn't want to take all of them with me so I was like I wonder if toothbrush holders would work so I went and bought some 97 cent toothbrush holders and I got cl the clear opaque ones or well they're you know opaque um, the, in the travel section, the 97 cents at Walmart, and you know, just pop them, put your toothbrush in there. Um, but my hooks weren't quite long enough, I guess you could say, to fit in here, and they were rattling around. And so I thought, what if I stuck some sort of foam or something in here to keep them from moving around? And I was like, well, I happen to be thinking about cotton balls, and so I went and grabbed my cotton balls out of my bathroom. I stuffed one down here and I, you know, took one of my hooks and stuffed it down in there. And then um, I put uh, one on the other end. This one has two. Um, for this one, for some reason, having one at either end, it was still rattling around in there. So I stuffed a second one in there. Now, it doesn't sit in there fully, like, straight on, which is fine. It just, it keeps it from rattling. And I was like... I wonder if the toothbrush holders are going to be too skinny because it's hard to tell but I got it home or I looked at it at the store and went that should fit and I got home and look it just fits in there like it barely moves around anyway um so I put I think I don't know which end I do <laughs> very particular um but I just stick it in there like that close it and it, it stays, you know, it doesn't, it takes some effort to open it, but not too much. Um, now, if it's a longer hook, it may end up popping it open. Um, I may need to find something a little bit better than cotton balls, but hey, 97 cents and a bag full of cotton balls that cost, what, a dollar or two at Walmart? And you got plenty of cotton balls. Oops, I'm dropping things here. Um, so yeah. I bought enough to put these hooks. This is a wooden hook from Omi. And again, I have the case and I just have one at either end. And I do apologize for my voice. I'm just getting it back and I was really excited to get a video up like this. So it fits in there, doesn't rattle around. And these are nice hard plastic so it protects them from being, you know, especially the resin hooks I'm more concerned about. Um, sorry, I was doing that off camera. But yeah, they just, they, well, that one I didn't get quite in there right, but it doesn't rattle around too much. It's a little rattling, but you know, not enough to matter, and it's not going to get crushed in the, the bag or the pr project bag. And this one's one of my longer hooks, so, but it fits in there and snaps closed and doesn't rattle around. And you can kind of, and the, the reason I went with this color. Is that way, I mean, they had other colors like blue and pink and teal, but I went with the clear because I was like, you know what, if I go with the more opaque one, um, I can kind of sort of see the color or the style hook that's in there. And you could also go get like some cheap labels that you could put out here or you could use this spot here to with a Sharpie and write the size that it is if you wanted to. Um, or yeah, put a piece of, like I said, label or masking tape or something on there just to let you know what this size is. But yeah, that is my little hack and then they stay protected. Now they do take up more room this way, 
than these boxes, but hey, these can get crushed. These can't, so I like that idea. So if you like this kind of content and you want to see more, um, I would appreciate if you would like and subscribe and leave a comment in the comments below what kind of comment, uh, sorry, what kind of content you would like to see. And I thank you for joining me and I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye. Um,